Hi all. Today we're going to make one of my favorite Italian desserts. It's a limoncello parfait with berries. It's so delicious and really easy to make and I'm going to show you all the steps on how to make it and all of the ingredients that you will need. We're going to make it with mascarpone cheese, which everybody asks me, what's that all about? And it's basically what you have in tiramisu. It's a combination flavor of butter, cream cheese, and it's made in Italy, and there's nothing else like it. It's very easy to find. We're also going to use um, lemon curd. You can make your own lemon curd. I like to buy it in the store. There's all different brands, um, so feel free to find whatever you want, but don't buy lemon pie filling because it's a totally different thing. Lemon curd is made with butter and eggs and it's beautiful and rich, so make sure you get the right thing. We're also gonna zest a lemon and I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't know how, it's pretty easy. And we're going to use limoncello liqueur. This is made in Italy and it came from the Amalfi Coast originally. And it's made with lemon um, skins and vodka usually and sugar. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful aperitif. And it's also great in desserts. And I've also whipped two cups of whipping cream with three quarters cup of sugar. And how I did that was put it in a KitchenAid mixer or any kind of a mixer and slowly added my sugar. So I'm going to zest a lemon and that's just taking off the skin. And you never want to get too far down and get to the white part of uh, an orange or a lemon or a lime. It's only the outside surface. So the next thing we have to do is get our mascarpone into our mixing bowl. You'll also notice that I've attached my beater attachment. I don't want to use a whisk in here. It's not going to be powerful enough to really puree all of these ingredients. So we have the two containers of mascarpone that are 16 ounce each. So we're going to be doing a total of 32 ounces of mascarpone. You can see how thick the mascarpone is. So because it's cold too, it's very solid, and I need to beat that up just a little bit before I add all of my other ingredients. So I'm going to put my mixer on, say about a medium low, just to get this a little bit softened. All right, so I'm going to take a spatula and kind of push off a lot of the really, you know, unmixed part of the mascarpone. You really don't have to do a lot of work with this. Um, it's all gonna puree really nicely with your other ingredients. So let's just whip that around one more time on about medium. So I did that for maybe 20, 30 seconds at the most. All right, so now everything else can go in. We're gonna use about one cup of our lemon curd. So let me measure that out. And you can use the rest of the lemon curd on toast or English muffins or um, just about anything. It's really great. So I'm adding that in to our softened mascarpone. I'm also going to add that lemon zest we did earlier. And now we have half a cup of limoncello. And just pour that right in. I'm gonna pop up my KitchenAid mixer right now and put this on like medium low to start and then increase it to maybe medium until this is all a beautiful smooth mixture.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop this right now and scrape off all of this moussey mixture, which looks fabulous. It's softened up a lot so that I can sort of move it around. Don't forget, we're going to mix in that whipped cream. So we need to have this a little bit soft. And I think I'm gonna just do a, maybe another half a minute on high to get this a little bit softer. <laughs> Okay, we're all set to bring this over to the table and start folding in our whipped cream. We're gonna scrape off this yummy um, mascarpone, lemon, cello, um, moussey type of uh, mixture. I don't know how to call it a mousse, but it's, it's so delicious you could almost eat it just as it is. Get as much off as you can. Right. And someone might want to lick this if they're around you <laughs> while you're making this. Okay, so now we have the challenge of, and it's not that difficult, of mixing in our whipped cream because this is kind of thick. Um, so I've always taken my whipped cream that I'm going to stir into a mousse cake or whatever, and I've done it in threes. I'm going to take about a third of this and I'm gonna start folding it into the mascarpone mixture. And why do you do this? So you can slowly incorporate it and it won't deflate, totally deflate. So take your spatula and go through the center and go around and up and over. And every once in a while, kind of knock it off of your spatula. So center and around. And what this does is it slowly helps incorporating into this mixture. And by the time you get done with the rest of the whipped cream, this will all make sense. So I'm just gonna fold it just a little bit more until I want to do my second third. So here I go with the second third of the whipped cream. And really make sure you get all those little bits that are hanging along the interior of your bowl, just so that um, they smooth out along with the whipped cream and you don't have these harder chunks of the mascarpone when you're done. So in the center and up and over. And make sure you get to the bottom of this bowl because it's really easy to, um, to sort of ignore that. And then you'll just have all solid mascarpone on the bottom, your mascarpone mixture. So it's softening up a little bit as you can see. It's getting fluffier, go way to the bottom. This is a deep bowl, but you've got to get that. So here goes the rest of my whipped cream. It's probably even a little bit more than a third, but hey, let's get it all in there right now. The reason why you can't use a mixer to get this in is you would deflate all of your whipped cream and you really want this to be fluffy. So you have to do this by hand. It's well worth it. It just takes, you know, so many minutes, maybe 10, 15 at the most to really get this finished. And I can see that this is getting really nice and soft and fluffy. I am gonna get down to the bottom there and really scoop all of that bottom up. There we go. Get it really on top of your softer mixture so that um, it doesn't get hidden or lost <laughs> in the bowl. It's almost ready, so one or two more minutes of doing this at the very most probably barely a minute and we're ready to put this into some beautiful goblets wine glasses with our berries i'll show you how to pipe it in i'll show you how to use a um, cook cookie scoop a muffin scoop cupcake scoop to do this i think i'm ready i'm not seeing lumps i'm seeing everything kind of nice and smooth there aren't any heavy parts of this. So there you go, it's ready.
I decided to use some blueberries and strawberries, but you can use whatever you want. If you want it all raspberry, that goes great with limoncello flavors. These do too. So, or you could just use one of these berries choices and not both of them. So a really easy way, other than using a spoon to put it in a nice goblet, which I have here, um, anything you've got around the house, particularly if it's a glass piece where you can see through it and see the parfait. Okay, so I'm going to take a cupcake scoop and I'm going to start with the mascarpone and I'm putting a scoop right into the bottom here, much like ice cream. I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit, um, not too much. And now I'm going to put whatever berries I want in and I've got these beautiful blueberries and I've cut some strawberries up. You can dice them or slice them, it's up to you. And I would not marinate these because if you do, the marinade is going to really um, soften up the mascarpone limoncello um, mousse. You do not want to do that. So just keep the berries as they are, no sugar on them. You really don't even need it. So here goes another scoop and make it really big and full. And we're just going to top this with a really generous portion of mascarpone. I might even add a little bit more. This is going to be my second layer. Um, if you have something taller, you can add a third layer. Okay, and now I'm going to add some berries, a few on the top. And I think I'm going to use a whole strawberry for the center to really make it pretty. And, you know, add a few. You don't have to do overkill. I would make these fresh when company comes because um, I really don't like to have them sitting. And then you can just cram a really pretty strawberry into the center. Or you can flank strawberries around the edge too, and that looks really pretty. Maybe we'll do one too. Or I can just go a little bit more to kind of fill this out. You can just play around with it and have fun with it. Do decorate this any way you want. You could put some whipped cream, but that's really overkill with this dish. So there's one version of doing your lemoncello parfait with berries. So now I'm going to make another lemoncello mascarpone berry parfait using a wine glass. And I thought I would show you how to put your mascarpone um, lemoncello parfait in a pastry bag. I'm going to cut um, the bottom of this off maybe about an inch and a half. And then we're going to use, and it's really a wide tip, which will give us a nice way to pipe this out. Um, you could even just cut this off and pipe it right out of this pastry bag. So I'll open this up and I'm gonna fold down the edges. Okay. And now I'm going to put the piping tool into the bag and push it down and see where it sits. And this is pretty good. I've really gone a little bit beyond the tool, the, the you know, tool itself. So that's what you want. So this is a trick that I learned on how to use, um, when you use a piping bag, how to brace it. So when you put whipped cream in it or buttercream for a cupcake or um, anything, grab yourself a glass, a tall, wide glass, and put the pastry bag in that and now I can fill this and not worry about it tipping over. Okay, so let me grab some of our mascarpone cream, our lemoncello cream, and I'm going to grab a spoon for that. So let me push some in and try and fill about mm, maybe uh, barely two thirds of this because I'll show you why. Um, you don't want too much in it because you're not going to then be able to have control and it will all squish out the top. So I'm going to lift this up now. Okay, and give it a few shakes. And push this down. And once I get this pushed down, I want the ability to take these two fingers, the thumb and the forefinger, twist my bag, and then 
attach my fingers so that the cream doesn't come out at the end. Okay, so here's our goblet. I'm going to bring it forward. And now you can really do a pretty job of piping your mascarpone. So now I can pop my berries on just like I did with the other one. The great thing about the piping bag method is that um, you can get into difficult um, containers for your, your parfait if it's a tight squeeze and you don't have to try and use a spoon. So I'm going to fill my bag with a little bit more of my filling. All right, so I've popped it back in my glass and I'm just going to push down the bag and let's grab some more of this fabulous mousse. And this should be enough for this one. All right, up it goes. Once again, push it down from the top so it doesn't squish out of the top. Grab it tight, twist it, hold on tight, and now you can finish this off. And you see how pretty this is too. You can kind of give it a more of a decorative look. There. I will top it with some berries. You could add a little bit more in here if you want. So now I can top this with just like a few um, blueberries in the center. Why don't I take them by hand and do that? I'll have a little more control to make this really prettier than the other one. And even take your little uh, strawberry flowers and you can sort of tuck them really close to the blueberry to make it pretty. This is a dessert everyone's going to just go crazy over and they'll all ask you for the recipe. There's your limoncello mascarpone parfait in a wine glass. So here we are with two versions of our beautiful parfaits. I've done one in the wine glass, one in a goblet. You're going to love this. This is going to be your favorite new dessert any time of the year. So please enjoy. Serve it to your friends and your family and have a great day. Also, if you'd please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. It will help me keep creating beautiful videos for you. Thank you again and ciao.